Good morning, Mr. Lucky. Good morning, my brother. Uh, let's talk about the EFCC and uh, the Air Force yesterday. Yes. Uh, Air Force are made to do what? Air Force are made to protect the citizen. That's Air Force. Now, how can Air Force be involved in the young? Is my that allegation? Is that saying, allegation? That, uh, my brother Raph is saying that the uh, white. Uh, AFCC should go arrest uh, 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 Air Force. Yes, but you commit an offense, they arrest you. If they go to court, they didn't find you guilty, then they, they, they set you free. But I can Air Force to tell you that Nigeria has become, I would say, Yahoo, Yahoo, everybody now can do Yahoo. So it's wrong for Air Force to go and do Yahoo. What's the procedure of arresting a, a military man, a military officer? There is no any law. Law doesn't respect anybody. We commit an offense. The law will. Okay, yes, you can just go to the barracks. Before they went to the barracks, they passed due process. Okay. That's what. That's so why are they not fighting? Eh? They must fight. Because, because the, the, the air force went to EFC office in Kaduna. I almost uh, fired their shots in eh, that because place. Because they feel they want to protect their 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 institute. And don't forget, air force are more than the. The EF, EFCC. Yes. Air Force, the UJ, when they throw one bomb, <laughs> everywhere we go. So, if the Air Force commit an offense, it should be arrested. But let them pass due process. That is it. If our agencies, uh, military agencies are behaving like this, how do we fight insecurity? Nigeria, that's why I say Nigeria to rule. Everything in Nigeria comes zero. Everything, including the judiciary, our agencies, Ah, down because when the head is rot, the leg will not work. It's yeah. unfortunate. Let's talk about Kano uh, uh, State uh, Governorship election. The NNPP governor has been sacked by the appeal court. What's your take? My, my brother was saying, Raf Ujuku was saying that uh, they are going to fight. They are going to fight. My brother, who will fight? In the tribunal, they are not the election, they did not fight. Appeal court, they are not the election, they did not fight. Is it Supreme Court? You know why? People are tired. When you don't eat, how will you fight? Who do you want to fight? Who are you fighting? People don't longer trust democracy again. The one that left, what did you do to the people? Suffering so and smiling. So nobody is going to fight. Ask Rap, who is saying they should go and fight? When Imo election took place, that is your place. Uh, 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 APC took over 27 local government. Where is that? Where is it? Did you go and fight? I did tell you the Northern to fight. After all, they are brothers. They will fight. How can you tell them that the rap, rap was there? Why can't rap go to home and vote? And you are there. Pick all the 27 local government. Leave labor you are fighting for the non-win there. Uh, one local government. They tell you that you are not serious. We are telling their pocket to fight. Fight what? You said that there will be a revolution in Nigeria. Who? Is it the one that will lead? Who will, will revolution in Nigeria? Karab lead? Let him lead, they will follow. Nobody will lead, you will follow. Nobody will fight. People are hungry. Let them bring money here, 100,000, and you see how Nigeria will fight. We, 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 Money has power. Nobody has power. He's there's no hope anymore for a better the only hope, The only hope that will come is God to come down and bring something. Not human beings. I'm telling you the truth. If you say hope, Nigeria is so corrupt. Whereby anybody is put there, we have to take care of the family first. Before the people. Which hope? There's no hope. The man that says bring hope is hopeless. That is it. So, it's hopeless. So, what is the way forward for Nigerians now? The way forward is me and you for us to join together. Look at just small Liberia. Because the president, George Wade, did not do well. They removed him. Because they said George Wade did not create awareness, not create uh, 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 economy. George Wade did not create anything. Poverty. They removed him with power. But Tunubu, what is he doing? Nothing. Nigeria did not unite. Ibo, you are your own. You are your own. As are your own. How can we unite? That's the opportunity the politicians see. That's why they can do and undo and go free. Tunubu will travel from Jerusalem to Saudi Arabia to this thing to Germany, going up and down, looking for investor. Which investor? No investor will come for this hardship. No investor will come to invest in Nigeria.
we have mineral resources, we have the population, we have deposits, mineral deposits in Nigeria. Gold, we have crude oil and everything. Nobody will invest in Nigeria. My we have all these things. Just mere mouth. Who is going to farm? So I'm looking at them. We have all this in the bush. Who is going there? Would you put a uh, 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 hundred policemen in one place to be guarding a two farmer or one farmer? Is it going to possible? See, Nigeria to Lule. I blame you, blame me, blame rap, blame everybody. We don't unite. Except when we see money now, we unite. But once the money go, everybody, you are your own. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you for your contribution. God bless you. Yeah, good morning, comrade. You're welcome to this conversation. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Uh, let's look at what. Uh, uh, transpired between the EFCC and the Air Force. Imagine EFC made an allegation that they arrested six uh, Air Force officers over internet fraud. So what's your take on that? Um, the arrest or the operations of the EFCC that led to arrest of um, uh, Air Force officials, I think uh, they should be allowed to do their job if uh, those officials have committed uh, financial crimes. Um, I believe there are uh, standard operating procedures in terms of how such arrests uh, can be carried out. Uh, I think they, they, if they follow those procedures, there shouldn't be any problem. It's the same uh, government that controls both uh, agencies. And I think uh, with proper procedural approach, there shouldn't be any problem in arresting those officials. Uh, the fracas between uh, the, the two agencies, uh, what does this uh, speak of uh, Nigeria, uh, locally and internationally? Uh, it's just because people are just in discipline. Ordinarily, there, should be, there shouldn't be any fracas. Uh, you are not trying to show superiority in any way. There are procedures for these things. My, uh, uh, Chris, if you, if you, if you check uh, their, their, their statue books, there are procedures. If I want to make an arrest as an EFCC agent in, uh, in, uh, in uh, within the Air Force uh, space, there, there, there are people who I must probably meet and inform and all of that. So, if those except those procedures are not followed, if those procedures are followed, it's, it's supposed to be seamless and, and, and shouldn't generate any form of acrimony uh, between the two agencies. So, it's unfortunate if there are uh, show of a uh, uh, display of indiscipline among among the two agencies then if you have indiscipline the agencies how do we tackle security i mean the, the, that that shows that shows that uh, a lot of a lot of things has to be addressed the the leadership of those uh, two agencies must uh, must uh, sanction uh, whoever has misbehaved and so, uh, just as you said when we are dealing with uh, interagency uh, in discipline, then it, it will rub off on the overall uh, uh, output of, of such uh, of both agencies. So, uh, if you are seeing in discipline at that level, that shows that uh, people disregard their superiors uh, in terms of uh, in terms of following instructions. So, and, uh, and as a result, it can also affect uh, the general security of our country. So we're asking that they should scrap the FCC. Um, not at all. I do not think they should scrap, they should scrap the, the, the agency. I think they should uh, they should be strengthened the more. Uh, uh, the agency has always uh, has also I mean also need to be very uh, very careful in terms of its operation. Uh, don't forget in the past uh, that agency has been used to to victimize. Uh, political opponents in the past, and that cast a lot of uh, uh, doubt on the on the activity and performance of, of, of that agency. But if all those gray areas can be tidied up, uh, it may not really be scrapped, but it can be it can be strengthened and ensure that they follow uh, their guidelines and laws that 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 uh, brought about those agencies in the first. Okay, let's let's talk about the Kano State election. Appeal court sat the governor. Uh, what's uh, your reaction to that? Uh, well, the appeal court upheld what the uh, tribunal gave uh, that the current governor uh, shouldn't uh, be on that seat. Uh, well, I believe they still have uh, one more leg of appeal uh, to the Supreme this time, to the Supreme Court this time. 
Uh, so until that is explored, he remains the governor of the state, and uh, we we wait for uh, for them to to take the matter to the So far, what's the performance of the judiciary from your end? For me, I think the, the judiciary has left Nigerians more confused uh, than ever. Um, a lot of judicial interpretations that are shouted in uh, uh, not too clear uh, approach. You hear that in this case, this is how uh, the judges approached it. In another similar matter, you, you see you see them come from another dimension. Uh, but just as I always say, uh, we have both the letters and the spirit of the law. Many of us are familiar with the letters of the law. Perhaps only our eminent jurist understands the spirit of the law. And that is where the mystery lies. Okay, thank you very much. God bless you for your conversation. Thank you.